at your destination at 4.41 a.m. see if it makes any difference well as you can see it has not stopped raining and now i can say good morning to you properly because i'm not in the van we're up on the top of mount Tur, and i'm with darren darren's come over to meet us uh we're trying to meet up for the last six months year, not three months uh social distancing and all that i've got my stick so i can poke him if i need to uh we've already seen a few people up here if the volume's not too good it's because it's extremely windy and raining sideways as per normal whenever i get out but yeah, just being out in this, just being out seeing this scenery and you know, I'm going to head that way and try and find the uh, tree. Not sure what it's going to be, but I'll find out for you and put it up on the screen. And, and I think that's my destiny for this morning, find that tree and try and get a shot of the tree with all the big heavy sky and uh, the rain sort of uh, diffusing the background. So yeah, hopefully you can hear me alright. If not, I'm sorry and I'll try and find some shelter in a bit. Chat in a bit when it's quieter. hear me a little bit more now the uh, wind's actually coming up from the other side of the hill and we just stood on the other on the other side of the ridge i've got the tree up in front of me now as you can see there um i don't know if you call it a classic tree or not but it's quite a popular photograph place um we're still quite far back at the moment we haven't got too close to it i've put the longer lens on i've got the 50 140 on and i'm zoomed right in at 140 and i've also got the camera set up on a square crop 
because that's how I see the image. I've lined the tree up exactly on the cross of the uh, thirds intersection top right hand corner and then you've got these diagonals and then the three layers of the hills um sort of proceeding through the image and it's quite a nice simple little shot it'll probably end up black and white but you never know i might actually pull out some of the color in it it's very great it's very moody there's a nice bit of cloud going past us now which is separating the back um you won't be able to see it on the gopro because the gopro is quite a wide angle but there's some low cloud every so often drifting behind the little tree in between the two mountains so it's just making that tree stand out a little bit more um, it's quite nice, quite pleasing. It's the first half decent shot I've taken for a while. And I know it's subdued, I know it's grey, I know it's wet, but it doesn't really matter. It's all part of the atmosphere of that picture. Um, it's all in the tones and it's all in the, in the way the image is set up and those diagonal lines. Um, quite nice. We're going to head a little bit further forward. Um, it's going to get muddy as you go along this path. I've just taken a photo on the phone of the classic shot with the gate leading down along the footpath, but it is going to get muddy underfoot. So I'm going to pack this lot away, head up towards probably the top of that hill and then maybe get the camera out again and uh, shoot the tree from a slightly different angle, a little bit closer up. Um, but we will make it all the way up there one way or another, no matter how muddy it gets. But yeah, that's a nice little shot to start with. Um, it's just nice being out in the open and Darren's just said it's giving mist at eight o'clock. Yeah, I don't think so, but <laughs> we can wishful think for it. It'll be definitely nice if something like that happens. Um, but yeah, it's just nice being out. It really is nice being out. Right, we've come up a little bit closer now and uh, it's still raining but we've come over this there's a bit of a broken fence there so we just stepped over the fence a couple of feet just to get out of that direct wind that's coming and lipping up the side of the hill um, you can see the trees a little bit closer and obviously on the gopro it's looking really tiny but from here i should be able to zoom in quite a little bit more and again it's going to probably be a square crop um it's sh i'm shooting in raw anyway anyone that doesn't know if you shoot in a square crop on the back of your camera I'm pretty sure that most cameras, when you develop them in RAW, you get the full frame anyway, so you can always crop it back down afterwards, as long as you're not in JPEG, because like I say, you've got to be in RAW, that's the full information. So I'm going to try this. It looks extremely foggy at the moment until I realise that my glasses are all fogged up, and uh, it's not fog, it's just me. But there is some low cloud still, it's still passing behind the tree, so it is separating the tree from the background, which again, this is the reason I'm coming down to this tree because I know that those clouds, the low-lying clouds, are going to separate it and diffuse it and make it stand out a little bit more. Um, it's just quite odd to have a tree stood out there on its own. It's all come away from its little woodland brothers. Um, I'm going to try have one from just the other side of that fence as well. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'll get the camera set up first. Um, there's some little tiny white sort of flowery things on the floor. I don't know what they are. I've got no idea what they are at all. Um, you can see them in, in the grass down here. Um, I just think it might make a bit of foreground interest, but possibly too far away from the tree to, to add the two elements in the same shot. But we'll try it anyway. We'll give it a go. Um, and I don't know, it's quite possibly, I know that Darren said we were going to get mist, but the valley is actually getting mistier. So there's a good point. If I don't hurry up, that tree might disappear and I might not get it at all. So I'm going to get my camera out and I'll chat in a bit.
even my GoPro then just give up and said he wasn't going to be bothered to start so I pulled the battery out um, I've not taken a picture over this side of the wall as I said I was going to because uh, it's too wet we've got a couple of shots and the valley has got some mist in it now but the mist up in front is really quite cool it's coming up the side of the hills and it looks pretty impressive really um, if you like getting out and getting wet that is we're heading towards it we're going to go all the way up to the tree so i'm going to show you the tree before we head back and then i'm going to take my trousers off and dry out a bit in the car and make myself a nice cup of coffee in my lovely new van and uh yeah maybe even put the heater on try it out see if it works so the tree's gone now at the moment completely gone you can't see it at all but i reckon those last couple of shots i just took which i'm not sure if you've seen or not yet if not i'll put them up now um i think they're pretty cool a little bit on the minimalistic side and uh, quite atmospheric and that image in front looks really good I quite like that I might even have to get my phone out and take a couple of shots with my phone while I'm walking along that does look good I'm definitely unfit. That little bit of a hill just come up to really knacking me out. Here we are, the tree. And yep, it's the same as I thought when I got here first time. Is that it? <laughs> but uh, from back there, it really does stand out on its own. So it's pretty cool. And normally you get a fantastic view from up here. But in this wind and this rain and stuff you're not going to get much of a view but it's pretty epic and it's so so good repeating myself again to be out even in these conditions all right now i know you can't hear me in this wind i'll be quiet and show you some of the views managed to get another shot oh, a bit of grass on the screen yeah i've took a couple of shots looking back towards mantua and i had my classic selfie of course as well on the rock um but i just sort of wanted to get these little white flower things in the image as well so i'm sort of looking up at the tree as you can see i'm looking up at the tree it's just a completely gray sky and the tree is sort of very silhouetted <clears throat> um but i've got this interest in the foreground i just wanted to try a little bit of something different um so i've gone on to a vertical shot just so i can bring the foreground in and bring the tree up into the top part of the section top part of the section top section of the image um, i focus stacked it i've also shot at f11 hopefully the heavy 11 it'll be sharp enough right the way through even if the tree just drops off a little bit in sharpness um but it's the foreground i want in focus that's more of the interesting part of the shot and the tree is just the image really um so yeah i'm glad i managed to get them little leaves in there and little flowers it's very changeable it's sort of stopped raining just now and the wind died down but as you can hear the wind's picking up again and you can see the clouds behind me just shooting over the top of the hill it's been really nice getting up here it's been a good walk it's nice to get some air in my lungs and uh, my heart rate up a little bit so we're going to probably now head back towards mantua which is that bit over in the distance there with a cloud above it so we're going to head back that way and uh, make a decision once we get there what we're going to do for the next couple of hours may even go and have a look at winning pass or something First things first is breakfast, definitely breakfast.
car hear me now. We're going back at the top of Mam Tour. That road, that felt a lot longer than what we thought it was. Just seems to be a test of this microphone. If you can hear me, stop the van. Certainly can't see anything from up here anymore. Yes, I'm a drown rat. If I didn't mention it before, it's always a good idea to bring out your waterproof when it's raining. And as it was, I left this morning at three, I forgot them. But I've got my waterproof top on, so I'm right on the top half, but the bottom half is pretty soaked. And uh, yeah, we're not far from the bottom now. We've only really got to go down in between the trees there, and we're back. We're just in a bit of a sheltered area at the moment, so I thought I'd just say hello and let you to remind you to bring your waterproof if you're coming out on a wet walk. Otherwise, it takes a bit of drying out. Right, I'm definitely, definitely going to speak to you when you get back to the van. Definitely. Right, well we are back in the van. As you can see, uh, got my kettle on. First time I've used a kettle in the van. First cup of coffee I've made in the van. And first breakfast I've made in the van, even though I haven't stayed in it. So I'm gonna have my porridge and my banana. Have a bit more of a chat with Darren. And then uh, he's in his van next door, if you wondered. And that's it. That's all I've got for today. Not sure how long this video was, or don't put knives in your mouth. Not sure how long the video was, or how much content there was in the video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, maybe. And uh, I have been to Mantua before, I was here last year. Uh, today's the 21st of June, which is the longest day of the year. Um, look at that breakfast, yummy which is the longest day of the year. So yeah, if you check out my video from last year and I'll put a link up for you, um, we had a different, a different situation altogether. So yeah, anyway, till next time, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and head off home, see what Mrs. C's up to. And uh, yeah, till next time, cheers. <laughs>